And this last distribution that we're going to look at is kind of weird because it's technically a discrete probability distribution that uses almost a continuous time um, or an interval to work with. Um, but it's called a Poisson distribution. And it's a discrete probability distribution of a random variable x that satisfies the following conditions. So the first one is the experiment consists of counting the number of times x um, an event occurs in a given interval. Right, so this interval could be an interval of time, could be area or volume. x is just counting how many times an event occurs. Second is that the probability of the event occurring is the same for each interval, right? So it doesn't matter how large the intervals are, it's still all going to be proportional. And then part three, the number of occurrences in one interval is independent of the number of occurrences in another interval, right? So that is our independent statement, which we've had in all the other distributions that we looked at. For this one, it's going to be a little weird and we have to use a calculator to calculate it. Um, the probability of exactly x occurrences in an interval is mu to the x e to the negative mu all over x factorial. Right? e is an irrational number approximately equal to 2.71828 or you have an E button on your calculator. If you have a scientific calculator, you also have an E button. Mu is going to be the mean number of occurrences per interval unit. Right? So that'll either be given to you in the problem or there'll be enough information for you to solve for what mu is. Looking at this first example, the mean number of accidents per month at a certain intersection is three. So right away, that gives it to us. Mu equals three. And we want to know what the, is the probability that in any given month, four accidents occur at that intersection. So here, four is our x. So we are looking for p of four, which by this definition up here, it's going to be mu. So three to the fourth times e to the negative third all over four factorial, all right? And I, you should just plug this into your calculator and see what you get. Right. Again, be careful with exponents, um, making sure to include parentheses when you're plugging it into an older graphing calculator, but you end up getting 0 0.1680. So at this intersection, which normally has three accidents per month, the probability of there being exactly four accidents is roughly about 17%. Then let's look at this last example. So an insurance agents claim that in Denver, Colorado, a homeowner can expect to replace their roof once every 10 years due to hail damage. So replace roof once one replace every 10 years. I'm gonna write it like this because the next part of the problem says, what is the probability that in 12 years, a homeowner in Denver will need to replace the roof twice because of hail? So we know that in 10 year span, they need to replace it once. Let's figure out how many times I'll have to replace it in 12 years. So on average, mu is going to be the number of times it needs to be replaced in 12 year span. All right, so we have two fractions, they're equal, which means that we can cross multiply, and that's gonna give us that mu is equal to 1.2. Right, so in a 12 year span, 1.2, you have to replace your roof 1.2 times, which sounds kind of weird, but just the way the numbers break out. And so we wanna figure out what's the probability that you have to replace it twice in that 12 year span. All right, so again, our mu was 
our x was 2. And so if you throw everything into a calculator, you get that that's approximately 0.21686. All right, so there's a 22% chance that you will have to replace your roof twice in a 12 year span um, due to hail damage.